Hello, Auburn families. This is Jeff Gardner, principal at Auburn High School with a uh, end of summer update. Uh, we're just about ready to start school. And we have a couple changes at Auburn High. I wanted you to know about this because you'll be hearing it from your students for sure. We're really gonna emphasize showing up this year and doing the very best we can to build relationships and you know, letting students know all the opportunities they have at Auburn High School. So they wanna to continue to show up and be successful. Really wanna make sure we're focusing on learning during the school day. Um, one of the things we're gonna to do to make sure that's happening is through our hall pass system. What we've done in the past is more of a traditional write the hall passes, go where you're supposed to go, return. Um, we are moving on to something that's electronic. Students will actually have uh, more hall passes and we'll be able to regulate hallway, um, the numbers of students in hallways. So what is an e-hall pass? It's a browser-based online system that is used to manage all pass situations. We can limit the number of students who can be in restrooms during school, during class time. Um, tough to do during passing time because the kids try to get in there and you know do what they need to do. But while kids are supposed to be learning, we do want to limit that. Uh, We'll monitor this to see how it's going. We can make adjustments along the way, but I would imagine we will make adjustments based as each quarter rolls along. Each quarter is about 45 days. Um, we always want to educate our kids ahead of time before we make any changes, um, but we feel this is something that's going to really help our school. What you see on the screen right now is the dashboard. This is what staff members will look at. The student's dashboard I don't think is quite as uh, detailed. They just want to get to where they need to go. Students would create a, a pass. They like, as I mentioned, they get two per day. Um, and over a quarter of school where you have, um, you know, about 45 days in a quarter, that's going to give them about 90 passes. In the past, when you looked at quarters, they get, uh, you know, two passes uh, per quarter. So it only gave them 14. So the number of passes has really increased but the number of students that can be in the halls at the same time, that's gonna be regulated and the number of students in restrooms. Um, the teachers will approve passes uh, based on what they're seeing on the readouts in e-hall pass, like there's already that many number of students in the restroom the students are trying to go to, the student just has to wait until there's um, a reduction in numbers. So that's gonna really help us out a lot. Um, students can also go to places like main office, a counseling office, library, uh, nurse's office, or to go get some tech help with a Chromebook. That wouldn't count against their two per day. They could actually uh, ask the teacher for that. Of course, if you know they're having an issue with their Chromebook, they could just show that to their teacher. Or if they have an appointment already scheduled with a counselor, we don't want to use that as one against the students for their restroom or, or water pass or whatever you want to call it during the day for their basic needs. Um, this is just more information that you see on the screen, how students would fill that out to create an appointment. And the main thing is we want to reduce loitering in our hallways. We want to increase instructional time so students are engaged working towards credit. We want to decrease opportunity for any off task behaviors. We want to increase hallway awareness and safety. We feel this is going to do that. Every school we've talked to that has employed this system says it's better. It provides data for interventions and adjustments so we can monitor the number of students. We know which students by name, what teachers by name, who's given out, who's allowing most of the students out. And, you know, we only use that information if it becomes problematic, but at least it gives us the data we need to be able to track whatever we need to track. So how it works is student requests a hall pass through their Chromebook or their own device, such as a smartphone. E-hall pass, the system then checks to see if the student has reached their limit. If they haven't, as long as the destination they're trying to go to isn't closed or full. Um, and as long as there's not another student in the hallway that a student might be having issues with, which we don't have a lot of that, um, but when we do, we're able to manage that through e-hall pass. So that's good to know. So if kids are having a conflict with each other and, and we are aware of that, we can keep them in the halls separate. Um, and we can also make sure once things have cleared up between them, then we can uh, grant them that access. Um, similarly, for students who have uh, medical reasons for unlimited numbers of use to the restroom or to get water, um, as long as we have doctor's notification on that, we can override the system. 
So the teacher would then approve or deny the pass. Administrators can also pull reports to look for trends, as I mentioned. And uh, this is all being done this year. We're going to start out right away with it. Uh, we're not going to try to bring it in slow. We got to get good at it. The only way to get good with it, with it is just start off right away. Um, as you know, last year we started installing uh, vape detector systems. We've actually done a trial with one that was called Vercata. I think that's what you're seeing on the screen right now. And then some tests were done on a different one called Halo. Halo actually is going to give us a lot more opportunity, a lot more options to um, get the kids the help they need if they're in restrooms vaping. We don't want that. That's a anti-healthy behavior we don't want our students involved with so i just want to let everybody know that is in the works um, they're not all fully operable right now but the department of tech is working on that i want families to know that these systems are about two thousand dollars per bathroom so um, if students are tampering with it or they create any damage with it that's going to be a, a fairly hefty fine and uh they pretty much are tamper proof and they can hear noise we can program them to even speak to kids that's how high tech they are we can just say put that out go back to class um, but we're learning how to use them and the main thing is we want our school safe we want our students in classrooms using restrooms what they're used for getting water when they're thirsty and doing a great job as students so anyway i just want to give you a heads up on that you might hear your students complaining about it always feel free to email me or give me a call at Auburn High. Main office number is 253-931-4880. Appreciate all your support. Looking forward to a great year. Thank you.